What's going on guys? Today I have for you guys an MJX RC Bugs 3 review for you guys. So I have a little bit of night flight footage. Um, you could easily see the awesome lights in this thing. It has a cool little headlight. And yeah, so let's get into it. Basically this is a brushless, you know, one of those cheap brushless quadcopters that are comparable sort of to the XKX251 and the Bang Toys X16. Now this one does actually come with a GoPro mount like the Bang Toys X16. So it's more sort of like a, uh, a sort of more of a camera drone than a sporty racer, but it still has powerful brushless motors and can still be very sporty and fun to fly even without the camera. So in this video, I'm using the Xiaomi Yi camera, but the mount can easily fit, you know, anything GoPro size. It could fit a GoPro, it could fit an SJ cam, anything that's like the size of a GoPro, you could fit it. And you could also mount, you know, your typical action cameras like uh, run cams and Mobius is very easily underneath. You'll need to have your own mount for that because the one that it comes with is really for the GoPro style. And that's kind of what this drone is about, you know, being able to use your GoPro or other action camera of that uh, kind of design really easily right out of the box and for pretty cheap too I think it retails for 115 right now so yeah and uh, as you can see this thing just has so much power it is does have brushless motors um this is comparable to the Bang Toys X16 which runs on a 3s battery I believe the X16 so that, that you could, you could say that it has a little bit more punch, but um, even though this has a 2S battery, the Bugs 3, I found that it's still more than capable of carrying a action camera, you know, GoPro, Xiaomi, you like in his video, anything, absolutely no problem. Uh, if It fights the wind like it's nothing, and, you know, being able to lift the camera easily and being able to fight wind are two things that you really want in a camera drone, and, you know, especially for this being so cheap, I definitely... I think that's awesome. You will need to supply your own camera, however, I think, I'm pretty sure MJX um, plans to include camera versions in the future on this. I'm not actually positive on that, but I believe so, because there is a camera button on the transmitter, and right now it has no function if you just include your own camera, so that's what I think it's for, and just my prediction, but we'll see what happens. So yeah, this is pretty sporty and fun to fly, even though its main purpose is as a camera drone, it still could just be fun without it, and uh, its flight is very, 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 very similar, like I said, to the X251 and the Bang Toys X16 in that it's not quite like a full-fledged, you know, custom-built racer, but you can expect it to perform like one. This is a, it's sort of, it's sort of on the border between toy and hobby grade drone. You know, it's definitely a big step up from anything with a brush motor. I'd say it's it flies better than the, um, Tarantula X6, which is a pretty standard benchmark in terms of, you know, toy brushed quadcopters that are still pretty good and powerful. So it flies better than that, but it, ha you know, you can't fly an acro mode or anything like that, so don't expect that, but it's, you know, that's kind of to be expected. I mean, one of the coolest thing about things, one of the coolest things about this drone in particular is that it actually does have tel telemetry, which means that... If you fly out of range or if the battery gets low, so you hit the LVC, the not only will the LEDs on the quadcopter itself blink, but the transmitter will start to beep really loudly too. That's good, so you don't have to worry about not being able to hear it, you know. So, um, yeah, it lets you know. You don't have to keep constantly checking the LEDs, which, uh, just a quick note on the LEDs, they are so bright and awesome, especially at night. As you can see here, there's the blue lights in the front, white lights in the back and the super bright white headlight i love that so much and uh the battery this is the last thing we'll talk about it looks like a proprietary battery if you take a look at it, it looks like it's in this case and it kind of looks like you're gonna have to need to get this dedicated battery but that's really not the case with this battery um i haven't actually found one well i haven't really looked for a battery to to replace this with or to buy spares for this yet to be honest but um, you can get any two cell battery that fits in the battery bay and has an XT30 connector. So that's not the most common connector type, but I actually do like it. I think it, it fits in there pretty snugly, keeps it, you know, stable as opposed to like a JST connector, even 
Um, no, Super Tiger connectors are pretty good. But but compared to some other connectors, you know, they're flimsy, especially for 2S batteries. They use a 2S, or they use a JST connector. I don't really like it. This is more, it feels more hobby grade. Um, you might have to shop around a little bit more. I'll try to find a battery that will fit as a good replacement for this and let you guys know. But yeah, so that is the... Uh, MJX Bugs 3 review. I'll have the link to the manufacturer in the description as well as a full review you could check out. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed.